right you guys so i am working on preserving some of my green beans these are my oriental yard pole beans they have produced great this year. They produce great every year. So what I've done is I've chopped up these. You don't even have to string them. I put them in groups like this, cut these ends off and chop them up. And I've got them kind of rinsing off in some water right here. And I'm getting ready. I'm working on boiling a pot of water. So I've got my water boiling. I'm gonna be dumping my green beans in here and I'm doing a pot of ice water we're going to be cooking these just for a few minutes just to kind of we call this blanching right where they start cooking then pull them off submerge them in the water and freeze them and that helps preserve them might take a minute to get our water back boiling there I like this so much better than canning, just because kind of how the beans come in, you know, um, it's just to me, it's not as complicated and as a process of breaking out the pressure canner and all that to can green beans. And I've got a deep freezer, so this just works really well for me. I've never tried canning these beans, so I don't know how well they can, but they do freeze well. And um, I love using the garden green beans for a Thanksgiving and Christmas dinner. And the family loves it as well. Okay, so I think we're right there where we need to be. They're just kind of starting to change colors into that bright green. So we're going to pull them off the stove and strain them. Strain these babies in the strainer. Ooh. I just realized how that's fogging up the camera. Okay, and so now what we're going to do is submerge them in this ice bath. And that stops the cooking process. Ooh, steam in its tracks. Ooh, hot, hot, hot. Add a little more water. Initial hot, hot, hot off. Back in the ice bath. There we go. All right, and we're going to let them cool down. And while this is cooling down, I'm going to boil some water for the next pot. So my beans have cooled off now. And what I'm going to do to let them kind of dry off a little bit is spread them out on a towel and kind of let them air dry a little bit. Then we're going to put them in a freezer bag, label them puppies, and throw them in the deep freezer. Right, here I am spread out on the towel and just kind of like have, just let them air dry a little bit. Okay, so I've got some dried, they've dried off a little bit. I'm sitting here picking through them. Some of them were a little bigger than the others. Like this was kind of getting close as to whether to still use that, you know. Um, but we went with it and I'm working on cooling off my second one now. All right, I've got a gallon um, freezer bag here. And I'm just going to bag them up in here and throw them in the freezer. All right. And so off to the freezer. So that's about two gallons of beans right there. And I've got a gallon and a half in there. I've probably cooked a gallon. I gave some to my sister. I gave some to my niece. I had some go bad. So, I mean, that's just, you know, well, this one's a little smaller. So, just shy, maybe, you know. But, um, so, yeah, that's pretty good. Pretty good setback on my beans there. 